everyone. Welcome to Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. I am Ani, and I'm your creative cook for today and every day on this channel. <laughs> anyway, today I have another breakfast uh, dish that I thought about. Um, I've got here three tortillas, and I've got the leftovers from yesterday's. Uh, breakfast which I will post today this will come out tomorrow I have some eggs here and I have my casserole dish rectangle one. you see I already tried to measure stuff anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the edges off of these to fit into this rectangular dish and the way I'm going to do that is by doing this right here. Now they do kind of expand out a little bit. So maybe, even though it doesn't really matter that much because of the fact that when we pour our egg mixture over this, it's going to fill all that up. Okay, so we're going to cut that excess off. I'll throw that out to the birds. Nothing goes to waste. Everybody eats at Ani's. Now, I posted uh, some pictures behind yesterday's recipe. That was a deer. Just to show you, because I'm always telling you all that I'm surrounded by forests. It's like Kentucky Wild Kingdom back there. So I just wanted to show you one of the deers that came by to visit yesterday. It was a doe. Look young. And um, she was sitting there just grazing just fine until Boots got a sight of her and scared her off. Yeah. All right, so we've cut that. Hopefully to fit this casserole. All right. So now we're going to sear. Sear, sear, sear. So I'm going to sear this on both sides and I'll be back. Okay, we're going to go ahead and spray the bottom of our casserole. You can spray your butter. I'm going to toast these right along, lay them down, you're going to need some cheese, okay, the first one's going to be a little bit difficult because of the fact that it's the bottom and it's narrow, that's fine, just go ahead and put it in there as best you can. And we're going to put in some cheese. Okay. Then we're going to put in some of this delicious sausage, potato, and vegetable mix. yesterday Alt Buck. Okay. The second one in. 
You do as many layers as you like. Put the cheese in. If you wanted to put ricotta, you could, mozzarella. I think what I'll put is some the rest of that Swiss. in there, might as well use it up. And this is repurposing the leftover sausage after everybody ate the eggs out of it. <laughs> and by everybody, I mean Pupster. to 250 and I'm going to raise it up to 350 To use that up. Some more cheddar. And the other layer of this. Okay. We have our casserole. Ready for the oven almost. All it's missing now are the eggs. So, let's get rid of this. Okay, let's put this over here. And let's get our bowl out and mix our eggs. This is a very easy and quick breakfast recipe. It won't keep you tied up in the kitchen long. Very easy to do. And you'll have lots of satisfied little tummies. <laughs> okay, let's see how many eggs I want to use here. Probably about eight. So this is also, you know, you just gauge it to the size of your family. And that's how many you do. So again, the filling had... Uh, Onions, green pepper, white onions chopped, green peppers chopped, um, spring mix, and uh, festive turkey sausage, and potatoes, diced potatoes. Okay, so that's six eggs. Seven. Eight. So I'm going to put in eight eggs and a little bit to milk. Now, EVAP is the best, that and buttermilk is the best to use, but I'm going to just use the uh, almond milk. This time, because I will partake of this one, just a little bit. So, I can't have regular milk. So, we'll put about half a cup. If you wanted to use heavy whipping cream to make it even creamier, that's fine too. Alright, so I'm going to whisk this up. That's telling me that my oven is ready. So I 
am going to put a little bit of adobo in these eggs. Now the sausage already is already flavored with sofrito and you know the spices I use. Black pepper I believe. So I put about a teaspoon of adobo in that. Now everything in here is already cooked. So, you know, there's no cooking. It's just the only thing you, that you need to cook are the eggs, and they usually don't take that long. So you have to keep an eye on it. So once you whisk that up really well, you just want to pour it right over. There you go, eight eggs was perfect, just enough. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. To that, I'm going to add some of these pretty red and green peppers I have in here. put a light coating of cheese, not a whole lot because we're going to cook this. I, I don't know how long it's going to take. I've never made this before, but that just, just came to me. So I'm going to put it in at 350 and I'm going to leave, I'm going to, if I can speak, I'm going to time it for 20 minutes. I'll check on it. If it needs an additional 10, I, I don't see maximum 30 more than 30 I'm saying if it needs more than 20 minutes I'll put it back in and then I'll bring you back once it's cooked and I'll let you know how long I left it in there okay but in the oven it goes and we'll put our uh, timer on for 20 all right, I'll bring you back. Okay, guys. Let me turn some light on. Well, we got about 12 seconds to go, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off. This was the 20 minutes. That's how long it took. It looks cooked to me. And I peeked in there. Oh, yeah. It looks excellent. It smells delicious. Especially those peppers, those sweet peppers. Oh. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. Huh? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cool off. And I'll bring you a plate presentation later. It's only 1 in the morning. I also don't get up to about 4. So I'll be back later. Okay, everybody, so it is about almost 4 o'clock, and Huff's is up, so I'm getting ready to serve him his breakfast. There is the casserole, the tortilla breakfast casserole. I did add a little bit more cheese when I brought her out of the oven, and I let her sit, so the cheese just melted on. Well, 
on it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and serve him up and let's go ahead and let me get a knife. It'll be easier that way. I'll just go ahead and go like this. I thought I was going to want to eat some of this, but I changed my mind. I had a hard boiled egg instead. Okay. Now I did leave this on for 20 minutes. I don't know if I mentioned that. Good. First one's always difficult to get out. Here is the tortilla breakfast casserole. Yum. Go ahead and make yourself some. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe. And turn on that notification bell. Ding, ding. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new recipe. Don't miss out. In the meantime, you all have a great Thursday. The weekend is almost here. And uh, take care of yourself. God bless you and take care of one another.